one-year-old boy. There by his side, a person has been arrested, and police say that woman is connected to a separate stabbing just hours earlier. Our Alex George is live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters tonight. Alex, what are you learning? Well, Don, police tell us that this woman was already wanted in New York. A warrant was out for her arrest for aggravated assault that was issued just two days ago. Now they say she's the same person of interest that stabbed two people in Philadelphia today, including that one-year-old boy. No words, just shocking. I don't know what kind of person would do that anywhere in the world, but just kind of shocked to know that somebody like this is walking around just right next to us. Around 8 o'clock on Saturday morning, a young woman was walking in Center City right near 13th and Chancellor Streets. A 24-year-old Asian female was walking east 1300 block of Chancellor Street when a black, described as a black female, just rushed up to her, stabbed her once or twice, I couldn't tell in the video. She's hitting the chest and the hand, and the female just took off. Police say the suspect was wearing a coat and carrying a blue backpack that she would then shed and change into different clothes before committing another horrific act just hours later. The violence is very upsetting as well, that people think nothing of taking a gun or a knife and expressing their emotions by being destructive to another human being. In the heart of Rittenhouse on Saturday afternoon, a mother and father were walking their twin boys in a stroller, passing by Temple Beth Zion, Beth Israel. That's when police say the suspect appeared carrying the same long kitchen knife as earlier. We had two parents walking a stroller down the street with two twins. Now it looked like this female just rushed up to them. Nothing was said. Complete random. Stabbed Tried to stab both children, but got one child, the one-year-old, well, they twins, in each arm. That little baby's father then chased the suspect, leading her to drop her bag, holding evidence that police say helped them directly identify her. That little baby is now being treated at CHOP. Appalling. I, I, I think the first word that would come to my mind would be appalling, that anyone would feel comfortable attacking an innocent child that hasn't even developed yet and to bring such hardship and pain. Now, we did reach out to the temple, and they wanted to be clear that the people involved in this incident were in no way affiliated with the temple. They were not members of the synagogue, Don. Given everything going on, we wanted to check to see if they were in any way related to the Jewish faith. They just happened to be passerbys in this incident. Now, police say the person of interest is now in custody. We'll make sure to give you any more updates on this story. Don? All right, Alex, and, and hopefully that little baby. Okay, shalom. 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 Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rakaha Kadash. There were honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim Akwaf. That's all here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. So when I seen this, um, you know, scriptures, you know, come to mind. First, first one really is, uh, you know, when Yahweh Shai was asked by the disciples what will be happening in the last days or just before his coming, one of the things he said was that because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. See, and, and, and when you, you know, going through this with this particular app, you know, news break or whatever, you know, if you scroll to the bottom of it, you'll get, you know, more stories. And it, you can just clearly see people bug the fuck out out here, man. There's a lot of bug outs running around out here. That's why you need to pray. Constantly pray. Pray every day before you leave your house. Pray as soon as you get up. You should. Pray before you lay down. Pray throughout the day for protection and safety. And, you know, it's just it's a bunch more stories. You can clearly see that that scripture is real. This one says, um, chilling confession of 13-year-old girl accused of murdering mother and stabbing a boy. Let's see here. And stabbing a boy after phone was taken away. See? Her phone was taken away and she just bugged all out. Uh, okay.
Okay, let me. Uh, is this the same one? Mother stabbed to death while walking with her baby in a stroller. Suspect still on the loose. Homeless shooting suspect who killed three family members, including 13 year old sister. Taken into custody. Custody. And this is all uh, PA, man. Pennsylvania is all, all these metropolitan cities. It's crazy as hell, man. The mother of a 19 year old young lady, Sadi Robinson, that went on a date that was fatal. Gonna pay. Barely speaking above a whisper. This is justice for Shade. And fighting back tears. Who the f would do something like this to my beautiful baby? Sheena Scarborough. She hurt nobody. Was pushing forward for her daughter, 19 year old Shade Robinson. Friday, Robinson's family sat in court and heard the grim details surrounding her death while staring at the man accused of taking her life, 33 year old Maxwell Anderson. The allegations in the complaint are abhorrent. Um, it was the highest level of violence imaginable. Prosecutors say Anderson and Robinson were going on a date Monday evening on April 1st. Yes. The state says they went back to Anderson's Southside apartment around 9 o'clock, where they say he killed her between then and early Tuesday morning. They say he then dismembered her body and scattered pieces around the county. The defendant did a tremendous amount of work to try to cover up the crime including lighting Miss Robinson's vehicle on fire. Last week, police found and connected a severed human leg in Cudahy and a foot in Milwaukee to Robinson. After God damn. God damn. Woo, boy. Hey, let me get this one real quick. I didn't even see that one. But like I said, if you, you know, if you got that news break app and you, you know, once you go off into one story, all you got to do is scroll to the bottom. You're going to see a whole gang of stories kind of related to the same type of hookup. And it just shows you just throughout the world, especially the Americas, this place is, 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 is a dangerous place to be, man. That's why we need the protections of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And guess what? The Lord created those spirits for vengeance. What the fuck is she doing out here with this goddamn Edomite? That's why the scriptures, I'm telling you, man. Scripture says, never trust thine enemy. Here you go. You out with this. You can clearly see this motherfucker, man. Come on, bro. But, that, but the, you so-called nigga women, you so-called black women, yeah, hey, y'all, 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 y'all love the so-called white man. Y'all love this motherfucker. <laughs> so, you know, the scripture talks about who would pity a charmer. Hey, man, we're not, as soon as you, you seen who it was, like what you, and you heard that she was voluntarily with this, what, what you doing with this good man? Anyway, Hebrews 10 and 31, and it's going to be a lot more of that happening out here, man, because Esau got that perpetual hatred for you. Hebrews 10 and 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. See? That, that right there was all about the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah right there. Let's go into the Apocrypha. But let me, um, matter of fact, let me get that one, that Matthew 24 that I, I quoted. Verse 12, Matthew 24. This is one of the things when you go up to verse 3, the disciples ask the Lord what will be happening. In the last days, roughly paraphrasing. And one of the things that he quoted was what he said was, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's one of the end days prophecies. That people will be cold blooded out here, man. This shit right here is retarded. But let me go. I wanted to get this one in the apocrypha real quick. Ecclesiasticus 39. So we have to touch on these, pro all the prophecies. We should we, we got to touch on all of them, Where, whether it's an earthquake, because the Lord said there will be pestilence, famines, earthquakes in diverse places. Um, there will be wars, rumors of wars, kingdom against kingdom, um, um, you know, uh, uproars of the people. All these different things we got to report on because they are part of the, the end days prophecies. See, but this is Ecclesiasticus 35, um, 39, starting at verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So you got these spirits that are glad to get a... Um, instructions from the lord and they go forth and they, they they appease the wrath of the lord man by doing what the lord want them to do sometimes he'll wound you real cold you know not necessarily take your life wound you real cold take away all that goddamn pride from you man 
You see? But anyway, let me um let's go back though. Cause this here is crazy. Dismember the ass. This 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 maniac dismembered her ass. It was lock you. After text message. Anyway, yeah, he dismembered her ass. This one right here says, Dad charged after three-year-old son fatally shoots himself with a loaded gun left under couch. Milwaukee man, 33, allegedly dismembered teen college student. Oh, this is it right here. This is it. Another one. After seafood date night. Sick son of a bitch. And guess what? She probably went out and ate some damn shrimp, crab, and lobster. I just done a lesson on the forever chemicals that's in that shit. Yesterday. He allegedly murdered the college student after a date and then dismembered her body with a saw and spread the remains across the city. Golly, man, the Lord is cold. She reportedly chatted with an employee in her apartment building about how excited she was to be going on a date that night with this damn Edomite. I'm feeling seafood, she texted the suspect before the pair met up to eat. <laughs> Man. But when Robinson failed to show up at the pizza joint where she worked the next day, friends and co-workers began to raise alarms. Police made a welfare check at her home and failed to find Robinson. On the third, Robinson's car, her 2020 Honda Civic, was discovered severely torched. The remains of clothing that matched the outfit she wore, she wore to the date was found scorched inside. Later that day, human leg, which had been sawn off, was found miles away. Man. DNA matching it. Look at this motherfucker, bro. I remember hearing something about this too. I didn't know that it was to this to this extent. But why you go why would you go out with a motherfucker? Why would you come on bro? Hey you 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 so called black women, man. Y'all love this goddamn Edomite so fucking much. And let me let me get this real quick. Let's get um Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. These people are your enemies. What the fuck is you doing out with Esau? Talking about some fucking seafood. Probably went out, ordered some shrimp, crab, and lobster, and the Lord judged her ass, man. Though he humble, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed. And I where people believe all the silly shit that these so-called white people say. I seen um an article on Plies, you know, the rapper, you know, even though I don't like the nigga, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, he says <laughs> he he tweeted that, you know. If Trump can buy you niggas with milkshakes, um, chicken, and gold shoes, <laughs> then you basically deserve it. You know, he's he's basically telling you, he's showing you how stupid you are. Basically. Jake was all in a Chick-fil-A. If you've seen any of those videos, the nigga woman all up on him, hugging on him and shit like he's about to save her. Trump not with you aborting no kids. So if anything, you know, that's the reason why so many of them vote for um, um, Jim Crow Joe. Anyway, it says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. See? Who know? Hopefully she, and you know Eve, man, Eve will get down on you. Hopefully she, she wasn't trying to, you know, uh, uh, rob the nigga, man. You know, trying to pull that shit that they pull on Jake. You know, trying to get over on him. Trying to, you know, but why would you, you if you just meeting this person like, come on, bro. Verse 13, I want to get this point here too. Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with the, with the serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? You can't even pity her. You can't pity her. You know what I'm saying? When you look at this situation and you like, huh? You was out with this motherfucker? Look at this nigga, man. Let's do that again. Look at this nigga, man. What was you doing out with this clown? He's 33. How old was she? Not to say that she's a grown-ass woman, but still. Why would you be out with Esau like that, man? She's 19. Oh, you already... Yeah, pretty much she was probably trying to... 
hit a lick on this nigga, man. And he hit a lick on her ass. Workers at the Twisted Fisherman restaurant confirmed the pair dined. So they was there. Robinson's phone indicated she went to Anderson's home around after 9 p.m. But you're going back to this man? So, come on, bro. After midnight, her phone began to, began to ping at several locations across Milwaukee before finally dying around 4.30 a.m. near a beach park. Footage from the park showed a car matching Robinson's and persons walking back and forth from the car to the beach. Hours later, the torch Honda was found miles north. See? See? You don't see no well. I see a so-called Jake back there in the background, but when you see shit like this, you never see a father. You don't see an uncle. You don't see a a, a, a male cousin. Nobody. It's always a so-called nigga woman with a with a microphone in her fucking face. You not so you should be so sad that you shouldn't even be even wanting to talk to these people, man. The defendant intentionally killed. And then dismembered Robinson with the intent to conceal the homicide. Look, man. And where you Jake at? You hard-ass Jake. You goddamn gangsters. You all are shoot and kill your own damn people with these motherfuckers that run around here and get to doing shit like this to your people. And, and, and you have nothing to say. Anyway, again, let me go back. Because I, I heard about that story and I didn't know it was that gruesome, though. This one says a woman found dead in a church with no blood in her body. May have been a TikToker hunting, hunting for ghosts. Oh my, man! Boy, I'm telling you, this place is crazy as hell. Woman accused of kidnapping and killing salesman during test drive. God damn! A See, a 46-year-old woman has been taken into custody, custody under suspicion of kidnapping and fatally shooting a 35-year-old car car salesman. Looking like an Eve to Northern Kingdom, more than likely. Happened in Chicago. Hey, look, man, these metropolitan cities is fucking crazy as hell. America is a big ass zoo, man. <laughs> That's exactly what this place is. You can't get around it. This place is a big ass fucking zoo with wild animals running around. Here we go, right here. This is what I was talking about. Woman who hugged Trump at Atlanta Chick fil A tells Fox and Friends black voters find Trump honest. See, look at this. Look at her ass. Look at her. She, she, she screamed out, Mama, I made it. I'm looking at her dumb ass like. You trusting the damn enemy. It, man, this dude don't care nothing about you. Why you think he was at Chick-fil-A? Because he know you niggas is there on some chick. The whole back counter was nothing but so-called black chicks, too, in Atlanta. What you think he doing there? He's pandering to get your damn vote. Stupid. Anyway. Oh, of course, this right here, K. Michelle, I've done a lesson on this yesterday. K. Michelle caught debating homosexuality and religion on social media, and she made a big point. Yep, there you go. Anybody listening to K. Michelle, Lord going to destroy her ass, and soon, too. Remember this one right here? So the list goes on and on. You can, you can just go off in here. You can just scroll all damn day long, man, about judgment, man. Ohio mom that left Tyler at home to go on vacation for 10 days, sentenced to life over her death. Then she's standing there looking stupid as hell, crying like she done nothing wrong. How you gonna leave? I think the girl, I think the little girl was like 16 months old, a little over a year. What you think the fucking baby gonna do for her for herself for 10 days? You doofy bitch, man. I <laughs> so lucky, man, for the language, but hey man, you gotta call a spade a spade. 14 year old and and on the streets. He stays in the tent with his 17 year old sister and a guard dog, okay. Illinois student 11 killed trying to protect pregnant mom from her knife welding ex boyfriend. Yup. Transgender teen who went on Instagram and bragged about killing 12 year old sentenced to prison. Nashville officials say dumbfounded as to why a grown man would throw a chair. Let me see what this is. Throw a chair from a rooftop bar. Uh, anyway. Hey, you get the point though, man. I don't even need to go no further, really. Teen charged with murdering mother of three. Uh, what happened to the pregnant woman found dead in Kansas City? See, there's another Jake, another Eve. See, a lot of judgment is going out on you, Eve, man. You see, they got that look and all that old that that them the bat them got them eyelashes. That shit, man, is a is, is nothing but trouble, man. 
Really, overall, it's really trouble. And I'm thinking that's probably what happened to that 19 year old. She probably got to the man's apartment, probably trying to um um jip her jip the damn dude. I I can't say that. I, I don't want to bear false witness, but hey, Eva get down out here. Teen dubbed killer jock danced on dying boy's body after bullies beat him to death at a house party. Tyler dies after being pinned under the under the tire of an Uber SUV that dropped her off okay near Houston. Uh, woman accused of killing partner and throwing children out of car was scared of the eclipse. Yep, done a um, lesson on that. She was bugged all out of her goddamn mind. Anyway, you see the point, man. Let me get one more scripture. I did want to get this one. I quoted New Testament, uh, Ephesians 5 and 15. And it reads, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. See, you're living a very evil, wicked Days, man, and people bugged out off this place, man. Motherfuckers on drugs, they, 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 they you, you, pills, marijuana. This new marijuana is, is is a whole nother drug in itself. That shit is not what it used to be. This lab grown shit got people out here. It was a lady here. She she ended up smoking before she jumped into an Uber. And, and, and jumped out of the damn car on the freeway and shit because she thought the Uber driver was trying to kidnap her. Bugged out, bro. You got a lot of road rage going on. People are, they don't have, uh, uh, um, you know, any self-control no more. They're, they're very impatient. People are um, agitated. They're really jumpy. You know, you got to kind of just, you know, the scripture talks about getting up B-time, doing what you have to do early, man. And getting back home. You don't even want to be out in public with these people. You can't even go to the fucking supermarket, man. Motherfuckers shooting up Walmarts. <laughs> you know, just doing random shit, man. And it's like people are so immune to it. They're just whipping out their phones and trying to get them a, a video of it so they can post it so they can get some likes. And, and that's, the, that, that's the mindset that people have. The, uh, because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. And, and when you go off into, what is that, uh... 2 Timothy 3, and it goes off into the perilous times, right? 2 Timothy 3 and 1, it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. See that? People don't have no natural affection no more, man. Truce breakers, false accusers, Incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. See? You have to be a vicious, brutal, hey, hey, and that's that's not surprising for Esau, the so-called white man. It's nothing. You know how much, uh, 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 you know what kind of mentality you got to have to, to cut somebody up, to dismember them? The type of blood that would be, you know, and just he, he that motherfucker probably turned on some music, some rock music, and probably got down. <laughs> like it was nothing. Probably ate a damn sandwich or some shit afterwards. You know? Hit the bung, took a pill, sniffed a line of coke. He's probably riding with her damn body in that motherfucker with, with you know, playing some 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 goddamn guns and roses or some shit. Anyway, <laughs> and you, you're, you're living in very wicked days, man. So pray to you. We can't stress that enough, man. That's one of our main, main tools. One of our main weapons that we have against the enemy out here is prayer, man. That's why that scripture, what is it? Second Thessalonians. I'm not even sure where that's at. But uh, it's, it's like one of the shortest. I don't even know. What I... Let me see. It's one, it's one I call it the sh one of the shortest verses. In the scriptures, man. It's only three. <laughs> three words. Three words, man, in that, that verse. What was it? Oh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. Pray without ceasing. See? It don't mean that you're just standing around all day long and praying, you know. You got things to do. It's not talking about it to that extent. But what it's saying is, you know, hey, there's nothing to throw up a quick, a quick prayer. 
as you're moving about your day. You should be constantly in the spirit, man, you know, and, and speaking with you. How about Shemiah Washai about everything overall? There's nothing wrong with, you know, throwing up a quick prayer. How about Shemiah Washai, you know, um, lead and guide me. Help me to um, um, do what you want me to do today. Help protect me. Keep a hedge of protection around me. Keep me safe, you know. Lead me. Guide me. You know, simple stuff, man. Simple prayers. It don't take nothing but a couple of seconds to say it. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You say it in the name of, of our Lord. First off, you got to know who to pray to. Salakia. Yeah. The true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. So you pray to the Father, Yahweh. Bahashem, that means in the name, Yahweh Shai. Those are the names of the Father and Son in the Hebrew um, language, man. And that's our language. That's our that's our God and our 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 Savior, our powers, man. Not no white Jesus. White Jesus is not coming back to save you Negroes. Because I'm willing to bet you when shit hit the fans for little mama, she was probably praying to white Jesus. I'm willing to bet you she was going hardcore praying to white Jesus and wasn't getting no answers. And the Lord was just sitting there laughing at her, her, her calamity, man. This is the type of power that you're dealing with. The Lord will set your ass up and laugh at you, you know, through his men. But, hey, I just wanted to touch on this real quick. I didn't know that it was going to go this route. But, hey, that's the spirit because I've seen this one story. With the, you know, this bitch just running around just stabbing kids. <laughs> they said it was an E. You know what I'm saying? A young A, A, A. I'm telling you, man, the so-called black woman, she's dangerous and she's in danger. It's just, A, them curses, man. Them curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And you're living in Esau, Edom's kingdom. You didn't help this man tear down the so-called black family. You have absolutely no respect for it. I'm willing to bet you she probably talked all kinds of shit about Negroes. I ain't messing with that nigga. That nigga broke. I ain't doing this. That nigga, nigga this, nigga that. Niggas ain't shit. And end up getting with this fucking cracker. And he dismembered her ass, bro. Come on, I, I would like to, you know, just go back on some of the, you know, the, the replay and just look. And and because I'm telling you, man, the so-called black woman, she has no respect for the so-called black man. All these young Jake out here. You couldn't have came across hey, a 33-year-old so-called Jake. That's just got like a regular job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, dude, he's taking care of business. He's handling his bills. You know, got a car. He's got money in the bank. He's not broke. You know, it's a lot of young Jake out here, man, that's 33. You know, living living pretty good. Shit. Because they're not really dealing with the women like that no more. But if she was a submissive 19-year-old trying to deal with a 33-year-old, man, that nigga would have took all types of good care of her, man. A regular Jake, he got a, you know, a, 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 you know, I was, you know, I'm calling, saying regular, you know, a Jake that's just, you know, he's got a fifteen dollar uh, an hour job, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen dollar, you know, he got his own shit, he got his own place, you know, he's able to look, you know, like shit, man, he, come on, bro, a thirty three year old would be glad to have a little nineteen year old, cause she is a woman. You go out here and give up the damn goodies to the devil, man. And they can't even say, they ain't saying whether or not he probably hit and everything. He probably knocked the box down. <laughs> you know, but she's dismembered. So they ain't saying they found all the body parts. They only found a damn leg and, and something else somewhere. This motherfucker been driving around for hours just throwing your body parts out of the window. Just come on, bro. Ah, that's why that scripture says, well, who would pity your charmer? Who would pity your charmer, man? I ain't going to none of the comments on it, but when you go into the comments on these stories, you can see people are losing it out here. So it is what it is, man. So, hey, be circumspect, look around, watch yourself, and, and pray. I, I can't stress that enough, man. That prayer, it, 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 hey, goes a long ways, man. That's one of the number one tools and weapons. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame, inshallah.